Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about make your Windows 11 desktop look aesthetic and professional in just 10 minutes. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first thing first, as you can see, we have a lot of things on to our desktop. So first of all, let's clear it. Either you can delete these things or you can move them into one folder or just right click onto your desktop, go to your view options and click on show desktop icons. At the moment, it is enabled. If you just click on it, it will disable it and you will not have anything onto your desktop like this. Now we have a clean desktop. After that, down here you see on the taskbar we have many widgets available in here. So first of all, let's get rid of it. To do so, right click onto your taskbar and click on taskbar settings. After that, it will open taskbar settings for you. Here we have taskbar items and at the moment you see we have task view, we have search icon and search bar in here, we have widgets in here, we have chats in here. These are the things that we don't use very often. So first of all, what you should do, you should hide all of these from your taskbar to have a minimalistic approach for your taskbar. So I'll just disable my task view, I'll go for the widgets, I'll do the same for my chats. We are left with search. To go for the search, here we have a drop down arrow, just click on it and go for the hide option. And now we only have the applications that we have pinned in here. In case if you want to remove any application from here, right click on any one of these and click on unpin from taskbar and that application will be removed from here. Now you see, we have some of the icons in here. Let's go for these. Down here, we have an option that says other system tray icons. Just expand this option and down here, you have different icons that are enabled. First one is lively. I'll just disable this one. Let's do the same for safely remove hardware. I'll do the same for rest of them in here. And now you see, we have very minimalistic and very minimum icons in here. If you scroll down, you will have more options to go for. And if you scroll down, we have taskbar behavior. If you just click on it, at the moment, automatically hide the taskbar option is disabled. If you just click on it, what it will do? It will hide your taskbar and if you hover over to your taskbar, it will appear again. So it's all up to you if you want to go with this option or not. Other than that, we have the alignment of taskbar at the center. If you want to go for the Windows 10 style, you can go for the left option and now it looks like Windows 10 taskbar. But I'll stick with the center because we need it in the center to further customize our taskbar. So I'll just go for the center option. So we are done with the taskbar and desktop cleaning. Now what we need to do, we need to customize our taskbar and its appearance. So for that purpose, we need an application that is called as Rounded TV. You can download that application from the Microsoft Store or from your browser as well. Let's just open Microsoft Store. I'll just search for store in here. Let's open it and let's search for Rounded TV in here. So I'll just write here Rounded TV. Basically, it's a rounded taskbar. So let's hit enter and let's see what do we get. So here it is. Let's just install this one. So we are done here with the download and let's launch it. At the same time, let's get out of our Microsoft Store. So here is our Rounded TV. Let's click on OK. So basically from here, we have to select the margin and corner radius. For the margin, I'll stick with 3 and for the corner radius, let's go for 8. Basically, it will be the size of our taskbar in width and height. So I'll go for 8 in here. After that, go for advanced option and here it says dynamic mode. After that, make sure you go for show system tray as well. Here it says show system tray on hover. It means at the moment it will hide it but if you hover over it, it will show it to you. Other than that, you have some other options that you can go for. Now, if you click on apply, you will see we only have our taskbar with pinned application in here. We do not have our system tray and their icons. But if you hover over there, now we have everything back. So that was all about the rounded TV and this is what we need it for. Now, the next thing is we need to go for the mouse or the cursor. Either you can download some third party applications and software to have a different mouse, but I'll show you some built in ways and that is open your control panel. I'll just search for control panel. Here it is. Let's just open this one from here. Make sure to go for view by large icons and you will see mouse in here. Just click on it. 
and it will open a small window like this for you. From here, go to your pointers option and here you have all the pointers available. From here, click on your browse button and it will show you all the available mouse icons and cursors in here. Scroll down, select the one as per your liking. I like this one, which is arrow underscore or L. I'll just click on this. After that, click on open. And this is how it's going to look like. After that, click on apply. And now you see we have a cursor in black color. Click on OK. And we are done with this one as well. After setting up our cursor, what we need, we need to have a new theme for our Windows 11. So for that purpose, I'll just search for themes in my Windows 11. Here it is. Just open this one. From here, we have some of the built-in themes that we can go for. I'll just go for this one. And do not worry, I'll change the background of it as well. So for the moment, I'm okay over the theme and overall, how does it look like? Then we have some color, background slideshow, we have sound, we have mouse cursor and things like that. And as you see, as soon as we have changed the theme for our Windows 11, it has changed the mouse cursor as well. You can change it as well. Just click on it and again, go to your pointers option, click on browse and go for the one as per your liking. This time I'll go for arrow underscore R because RL was a bigger in size. Click on open, click on apply and click on OK and we are good. Now we are done with the theme as well. And now what we need, we need to download some third party apps and some third party softwares to have further customization of our Windows 11. So I have already opened everything and do not worry, I'll put the link in the description of this video. First of all, we need this one as a wallpaper. Then we need lively wallpaper. I have already downloaded it and installed it into my system and I'll show it to you that how we can use it. So just head to rocksdenster.com slash lively and download the installer file. You can also get it from the Microsoft store as well. After that, we need some of the files for a rain meter. And these are some of the skins that we'll be using with our rain meter. So let's just download it. I'll just click on this download button. Here the download process has started and we are done with the download and now let's go to our rain meter. We need it as well. I have already downloaded and installed it as well. So we are done with everything that we needed to download. Let's just close this one. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use all the skins that I have downloaded. Here it is. I'll just right click on it and I'll extract it to clean desktop folder. Here it is. Let's just open it and let's see what do we have. Let me maximize this one. Let's open this one. So basically here we have four of them available, but first of all, let's change the background of our Windows 11. So for that purpose, I'll use Lively that I have downloaded earlier. So let's just search for it. I'll just search for Lively. Here it is. Let's just open this one. So the Lively is up and running and it has already applied the wallpaper by default that I had selected earlier. Now go to your system tray icons and open your Lively from here. It will open the Lively application for you. From there, we'll select a different wallpaper. So here it is. And here we have different wallpapers that are live and we can go for anyone. I'll select this one that says rain. Just click on it or right click on it and you can go for set as wallpaper option. Now it will be our wallpaper for our Windows 11. So here you see we have successfully applied the wallpaper. Now what you can do, you can customize it as well. If you remember, we downloaded a picture for our background. Just click on this three dot menu option button and go for customize option. It will open a window like this. Down here it says image section. Just click on this image icon and select the one that you have downloaded. So here I have gone to the directory where I have my image. I'll just double click on it. And here you see we have changed the background for our Windows 11. So we are done with the lively. Now let's just close this one. And now we need to go for the rain meter and its skins. Here we have different skins. First of all, I'll go for this one. So I'll just double click on it and let's click on install. It will just install it and not implement or you can say not apply it onto our Windows 11. To apply it, we have to go for rain meter. So I'll just search for rain meter. Here it is. Let's just open this one. And here we have our me power that we have downloaded. Just expand this one and go for the first one. And here we have b.ini file. Just double click on it. And after that, click on this load button and you will see it onto your desktop. If you see here, it has appeared on to the top left corner. Now, in order to reposition it, just click on it and drag it anywhere onto your screen where you want it to have. I'll drag it onto the top right corner of my screen. And after that, in case if you want to go for some of its configuration, you can go for. So we are done with the first one. And now I'll go back to my file explorer 
and this time let's see what do we have to install next this time i'll go for mod i'll just double click on it and let's install it here it is i'll just click on this install button and here we have successfully installed it here we have different settings available with it i'll go for the 12 or format after that here we have the color that we can go for i'll select the text color but let me just show you that how does it look like here it is and this is how it's gonna look like i'll just minimize my file explorer and from here you can change the text color and the player button color as well i'm okay with this one so for the moment i'll just close the settings and here we have different widgets that comes with this particular application or you can say small skin i'll just right click on this player and from here i'll go for unload skin i'll do the same for the recycle bin i'll click on unload skin and we do not have it anymore now we have to reposition it so you can position it anywhere as per your liking i'll just leave it at the top of my mountain and now we are done with this one as well now we have some other skins here as well here we have simple clock and fountain of color but if you see we already have time available in here so i think we do not need to go for this one so let's go for fountain of color and let's see what it is i'll just double click on it let's install this one we are done with its installation and let's go back and what it will do whenever you will play a music onto your system you will see some bar appearing on here so let's go back and we need to open our rain meter one more time so i'll just search for rain meter or you can hover over to your system tray and from here you can click on your rain meter icon we need to have our power button back so i'll just click on it i'll just open my power folder and i'll just click on b.ini let's just load this one and here it is i'll just close my rain meter now now here i have opened a music file into my system and as soon as i'll click on this play button you will see that these bar Coke will Studio appear with nine. different heights as per the music so let's just play our file so did you see it was working pretty fine other than that you can customize these bar as well you can change its color you can change the heights you can reposition it just like any other skin that we have done till now so that was all about these skins and that also brings me to the end of this particular video i hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one and you must have liked that how we have made our windows 11 look professional and more clean and more sophisticated if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care